Ah, video games. Yes, one of the most dominant and prevalent forms of media in today's age. Ah, don't you just miss the times when this delightful, great, ambitious form of art was not infested with politics. Wait, what? When has that ever been the case? You know what? In fact, since the dawn of video games itself, it's been infused and had an intrinsic relationship with politics. From politics itself being represented in many games such as Middle Gear Solid 2, or to the fact that one of the most popular genres of today is first person shooters, which are, have taken greatly from actual wars of our history, like World War II or World War I, to the fact that politics itself has had a, a great hand in terms of, of how video games are structured and run. Like, the fact that the currency you pay with is, for video games is determined by the con your country. The, the language that's on the game that's covered in box art is determined by the laws of your country too, possibly. And even the fact that video games themselves have had problems with the laws, like the 1990s issue with censorship and whether or not video games should be self-regulated or whether or not it should be government-run. The fact of the matter is, the politics and video games have always been together and always will be together. So, what does this mean? Well, it means that leftist and the leftist community on YouTube needs to embrace video games. Not necessarily become like video game maniacs or anything, but we need to acknowledge its usefulness in terms of promoting you know, leftist ideas and values. And now here I have three reasons why in terms of my main thoughts. The first reason is that, well, you have to admit it, video games are presented as an identity for many people. And many people identify with YouTubers mainly because they play video games. And if they are able to present their views, which many do, they are able to actually influence their audience into promoting their views. For example, we have people, users like PewDiePie, JonTron, Alpha Omega Sin, and Razorfist, who all, while originally or predominantly focusing on video games, have infused political views into their videos, which have allowed right-wing ideas to be promoted and grow within the YouTube communities and their fans. That's why I think we need to acknowledge the potential that it is and make sure that we if we're famous, or if anyone gets an influence, that they use their views as part of their videos because they're not going to stop. So why should we? We need to acknowledge that if we make gaming videos and we get a gaming and we get a, a successful audience based on that, that it's not time to just be idle and keep your views out of the spotlight. You need to promote leftist views in order to ensure that your viewership will become used to, will become sympathetic to leftist beliefs and ideals. And that, of course, brings into idea number two, my or my second belief, in that it allows for greater diversity and. Uh, it allows for greater diversity and a welcoming atmosphere for many people that are not of the predominant in white man society in terms of, of LGBT plus members or even people of color or just a, a various groups of people who may feel uncomfortable being being a part of the com game, YouTube's gaming community or gaming community, one of the various gaming communities because of the hostility that is often expressed towards them by gamers. So I think it's very important that if if we are allies or sympathetic to these groups of people that we need to be, that we need to let it be known so that they can have a place where they feel comfortable. And this is my la third and last in terms of just the fact that gaming on YouTube is considered to be toxic and I think that leads to many people who are otherwise maybe they are fans of video games but they don't really talk about video games on their YouTube channels and because I love video games and I think as a hobby it's I love talking about it and I think the fact that it has such negative perceptions or connotations really hurts its ability to grow from the leftist community like for example uh, Sean and Jen's channel orig was originally based off of gaming before moving to politics and it almost feels like that they felt I don't speak for them because I never spoke to them about this directly but for me it feels like that they felt like they had to distance themselves from that because their YouTube channel doesn't focus on that anymore they just switched to gaming videos on, on live streaming channels same with H Bomber guy he previously had let's plays that he has now deleted and I don't even know if they exist on the internet anymore contra points I remember she had videos of her playing Pokemon but those are nowhere to be seen anymore so I think that by having this negative perception towards gaming I 
I think many people that like video games or have it as a hobby feel that, like that they cannot talk about it or that they that they will gather their negative attention. So I think that's why we need to do it. So just to recap, the three reasons why is because one, if, if people get big, they will be able to use their gaming influence to try to promote leftist ideas. Two, it helps create and foster a more diverse community and a more welcoming community for underrepresented groups. And three, it also allows people who do enjoy game aims to talk about it more freely instead of having to deal with the stigma of like the toxic uh, right-wing uh, culture that is often associated with gaming. And so I thank you for watching this video and this is my first time ever attempting and this was a bit off the cusp so I hope you leave feedback for future videos I may make of this. Thank you for watching.